Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me Toyota Corolla Touring Sport 2022 version. This is the pre-facelift. If you want to see the facelift, the brand new Toyota Corolla Touring Sport will come probably in a few months. So stay tuned, stay close to the channel if you want to see that update. So click the subscribe button to see the update, to see the new Corolla when it comes. Now I want to present you kind of the actual 2022 version because I didn't review it on my channel. I have thousands of videos and cars on my channel, but I didn't have the time to review this actually Toyota Corolla touring sports and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior I will explain you every single details of the car I will explain you how much space we have in the back material quality multimedia system cockpit exterior of the car price technical data everything about the car you will find out in this video by the way if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Emil Frey in Zugville. I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car if you find the price interesting check them out guys totally deserve it the link will be in the description now I want to give you some technical data about the car and then we will start the review by the way I will have a separate video with the same car test drive there it's all about driving the car if you want to see it check it out on the channel probably it's already there uh, if it's not will come next days now guys let me give you some information about the model that i have with me so uh, we have toyota corolla touring sports the trend version the trend version is kind of the starting the base entry level version that comes with a two liter petrol engine it's a full hybrid system and these days i totally recommend you to go either with a full hybrid system or i recommend you to go full electric so from those two choice it's something that i recommend you and in my opinion this toyota corolla not only touring sport uh, but also the normal version it's one of the most economical one of the most reliable car that you can buy these days this is just my opinion also let's don't forget that toyota kind of offer you 10 years warranty and they are super reliable the cars from toyota not that i want to make an advertising but this is the reality let's go to the price this is a demo car it already have 6600 kilometers so that's something to keep in mind when we talk about the price the new price of the car it's 38,700 francs but you already have a discount because the car have 6000 kilometers and the final price will be 34,700 francs here at emil frey in Zugville. and in my opinion it's a great discount for a 6,000 kilometers because the car it's new at 6,000 it smell inside here as new I think until 20,000 kilometers the car is new and this is a total good deal uh, to be honest in this price uh, to get all these things that this Corolla offer and you will see in the video what I'm talking about anyway in this price it comes also with all these options included like pack trend plus included like head up display we have here adaptive blind spot technology parking adaptive parking active parking we have parking sensors multi-informational display i will show you later and also all these options i will explain you as we go in the video so keep in mind that everything you will see in the video and i will explain you will be included in this price now i want to go a little bit deeper with the details and i want to give you more technical data about the car and then we will start the review so as i said before the car come with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line it's connected with a battery and with an electric motor it's quite powerful the electric motor because sometimes the car can drive only in electric mode don't expect to drive kilometers but one two kilometers and then in mixed mode it will stop the the engine and then it will work only with the battery and electric motor and sometimes they will make this change also it has a small battery around 1.1 1 1.3 uh, kilowatt hour that help the car when coasting when driving in small parking lot and when you have battery the car it's able also to drive in electric mode and in this way you can save a lot of money now let's go a little bit forward and let me give you more details four cylinders in line connected with an electric motor and a battery the power of the car total power 180 horsepower 190 newton meters the speed the maximum speed of the car 180 km per hour 0 to 108.1 seconds also the car is connected with an automatic transmission 
ECVT, that means it's a special transmission for hybrids, full hybrids and also electric cars in some circumstance. The space in the trunk 581 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1591 liter. Super super spacious in my opinion, very practical. This is another reason why I will definitely go with this touring sports version and not with the normal Corolla hatchback version because you have much more space here and you have kind of the same same performances. Then the CO2 emission, CO2 grams, 84 CO2 grams emission, the estimated consumption 3.7 liters, it's a gorgeous consumption to be honest for the space and for what this car is. The fuel tank capacity 43 liters, turning circle 10.4 meter. It's a front wheel drive system and it comes with independent McPherson with coil spring and anti-roll bar suspension on the front and double wishbone multi-link independent on the rear. Also ventilated brake discs on the front and normal brake discs on the rear. This model, this car that I have with me, it comes with 17 inch rims. They doesn't look incredible on the car, but 17 inch rims, they are perfect for consumption for a suspension and comfort and also for the economy overall so it's a good choice we will go outside now and we will see how it looks from outside and we will see also the rims and of course in the end we will make the conclusion so yeah let's do it let's start the review guys all right guys as always we will start with the key it's a simple key a very light key also it's right corolla on the other side and other than that what you can do with the key you have here the button to lock the car also it comes with electric folding mirrors very useful uh, feature it comes also with keyless entrance that means if you put your finger here you can lock the car and also you can unlock the car simply by having your uh, hand right here on the doors you can see how fast it's unlocking now you have another button here on the key that's for the electric tailgate so you can open up the trunk only with your key you just have to press the button and you can open it up anyway it's work fine i like the fact that you don't have to hold the button like in other cars all the time and this is a great feature anyway let me turn on the lights and then we will go to talk a little bit about the exterior first of all i want to talk a little bit about this blue color it's just wonderful i have to tell you that this is one of the most beautiful color that I see it until now on Toyota Corolla. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's a lovely, lovely color and I think it fits definitely nice with the design of the car and I will definitely get it uh, if I would buy this car. Lovely color, I have to tell you. Then, the second thing that I want to talk are the rims because we are here on the side. I love the rims. They, they fit perfectly guys, they are 17 inch rim, they, they are not even bigger and they fit super nice with the car and they look sporty, they look elegant, they look also business, I don't know, they have kind of included all those free things. Now, going around the car, probably you see the car before, I don't know if I make any sense to talk too much about the design, it's a nice design, it's quite a modern design. The lines are usually, as you probably know, on those kind of uh, Asian cars with a lot of sharp angles and lines and they are quite, quite good at designing a car and I'm, I'm kind of a big fan of those cars. Uh, I like the design, I like the front end, it looks quite aggressive, it looks nice and also they make not only nice cars but they make also practical cars and even the aerodynamic of the car it's really good because the consumption is just incredible I mean it has great great consumption here on the roof some roof rails in chrome design we have some chrome around the windows here and they fit super nice with the rims so you can see the chrome insertion there and also chrome around the windows fit really really nice with the car also up here on the roof, you have a radio antenna, quite nice, modern, really, really nice. The roof spoiler also quite simple. No element of sportiness on the roof spoiler, it's just the roof spoiler, it's kind of classic and simple. Usually we see here some kind of plastic and stuff, but they, they keep it simple on this trend version. Uh, also here in the middle, you have the brake light. It's an LED light and we have tinted windows in the back and also on the side. 
I like that, that fits well with the car. Then you have the wiper right here in the middle. Going down you have the Toyota logo with the blue inside. That means it's a hybrid or full hybrid. Then going here on the lights, in terms of lights, we have full LED right here. Even the fog lamps you can see right here, it's LED. The turning signals, the brake lights and the tail lights are LED lights. And they look quite nice and probably that's why Toyota choose to keep it also on the facelift that you will see it in a few months. And if I go a little bit backward, you will see that they are nice. If I go here, we have a reverse camera. I think you can see it right here. And something that I will definitely change on the car are those halogen lights on the number plate. They are normal and they are not LED. Uh, I will definitely change it to put some LED lights. It will look much nicer in the nighttime. Then we have Corolla writing on the left side here and then hybrid on the other side. So you know, this is a hybrid, hybrid version. We have six parking sensors on the rear. I like that very much. So they put it here, you can see it. Then some light reflectors on the bumper. Really nice lines, as I said before, quite sharp edges and interesting line. Now down here, some glossy plastic. Everything looks nice, simple, clean, uh, with a kind of a lip here in this area. On the right side, we have two exhaust pipes that make the car look pretty sporty, to be honest. I didn't expect to see two big exhaust pipes like that on the full hybrid car, but for the look of the car, I think they look quite, quite nice. Let me go a little bit backward so you can see them better. Yeah, make the car quite sporty. Really interesting. Also on the side, as I said before, we have some chrome design on the upper side that goes all the way uh, to the front of the car. On the down part, we have some matte plastic. So here, so this is a plastic, a matte plastic in this area. And then we go to the mirrors, big mirrors, good visibility, blind spot technology right here in the corner. We have LED lights, turning signals, and we have the mirror caps also in the same color as the car. And I think, uh, they did a good choice because they really look nice. I mean, this blue, blue whitish color look gorgeous. We have hybrid on the side here. So, you know, we have on the both side this hybrid logo. So, you know, this is a hybrid car that kind of scream out. I'm hybrid. I'm a clean car. Up here on the windshield, you can see the windshield. It's quite extended. It's very long. And here in the middle, we have a camera and also raining and light sensors there. The camera, it's for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist and all that uh, safety features. And those are really, really useful because the car comes standard with a lot of safety features like emergency brake, lane assist and all that safety feature that I will explain you also in the test drive video. And down here on the front of the car, we have this logo. Behind this logo, it's a radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake. And this is working together with the camera up there. So to give you all that safety features in the front, also the same front uh, that Toyota kind of uses with. We have just this big, big, big grill here in the middle. Air intakes there, pretty simple. Six parking sensors also in the front. We have even the fog lamps in LED. This is LED. And we have here as well, full LED lights. Also the turning signals, the daylight and the high beam, it's LED. And if we go in the front, you can see them the way they look. Quite nice, really nice. It looks nice on the car. Lovely lines, beautiful car. Anyway, that was it. I don't want to make the video too long, guys, so I will try to make it a little bit faster. Some elements that I like very much on the car that I think make the car much more sportier are those skirt down here. I love the way it looks, this skirt. I think it makes the car super sporty. And I like the fact that you can see here we have the body split in this area down here on the skirt. It's split. It's kind of a plastic and you can change it very easy. You don't have to worry about scratch in this area. So uh, here is the body of the car you have to worry about. But down here, the fact that they split it like that, they make the car last longer. Probably that's why they are able to offer you 10 years warranty because usually in this area will occur a lot of rust on the body, but they kind of protect this area. You can see they put here, they extend this protection here. So the stones doesn't hit this area of the car. And this is, this is really cool. This is good, very useful. Now the tank, 
it's here on the driver's side you have to open it from the interior but keep in mind that it's here on the left side and this is really useful and then the handles you probably know is very nice handles very nice integration here in the body of the car also they are kind of aerodynamic and they are also useful on the highway let me hear the door the door quality quite good yeah sound fine sound good quality this is the exterior the rims 17 inch rims very nice rims i like them very much the way they look i think they are perfect for the car also normal brake this on the rear and in the front we have ventilated brake this guys and the brake calipers are kind of normal nothing special nothing crazy there beautiful car attractive car very economical and practical and it has a relatively good price this is this is one of the best car no wonder why so many people want to buy it and i didn't find it with very very hard work i managed to find this car to review it because you never find it nowhere everybody sell it in just one second like that everybody want to buy a toyota corolla they are they are so wanted and no wonder why they are so wanted because they have a very good price by the way this is this is super light oh my god probably that you know toyota they put a lot of work in these cars and they they think about everything they make even this hood lighter in comparison with other cars and this is helping also with the consumption of course here is the engine guys two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line this is it and also here on the right side we have the fuse box the air filter there is the electric part from the motors you can see it right there and both engine and motor are here in the front 180 horsepower yeah quite nice automatic lift gate you have a button down there you press it and the trunk is opening now i want to show you how practical the car it is i want to show you how big is the entrance here look at the entrance it's just huge you can fit in here a lot of stuff without any problem really really big space and the great part is that you have a flat floor here it's a completely flat floor lovely lovely entrance also you have some storage space on the left side with the triangle you have 12 volt port here you have right here i think you can see it led lights look how fancy it is it's all over here in the back and also on the other side so it's super fancy for this price it doesn't fit some cheap uh, lights here so they put really good led lights and they look awesome also you can fold the seats from here i will show you later and also from here you have some hooks you have also this protection for the trunk that you can extend it like that i will take it out to show you how it looks without it also you have in every corner hooks there they look also nice in aluminium and here you can also open this up just like that to put some stuff there like a closet it looks really nice and also if that was not enough you still have extra space here uh, and even for a spare tire i think you can fit in here without any problem and also you can fit in a lot of things here and i like it i mean the practicality in this car it's really really good now guys let me fold down the seats and then we will go forward all right guys now i just take out that protection and i will show you how it is without sit down but i want to talk a little bit about the upper part here you have some handles manual handle if you want to close it uh, also here you have the buttons if you want to close the trunk from those buttons also lock it when you close it uh, also it stays up here a small protection i like that very much uh, because you don't have to always have an extended protection here and I, I kind of always take out those from my cars and I leave it also empty like it is right now I take it out I put it there also I want to point out that the car doesn't come only with this protection that you pull it it comes also with a net that will be installed here and then up on the roof so for example if you have dogs or if you have something that you want to have in the back here doesn't it doesn't go in the front there so this is really really useful and i really want to point out that also other than that you can see one more time 
how much space you have here in the back. So now if you want to fold the seats, I want to show you how easy it is. You just pull those here on the side and talking about practicality, you didn't see enough on this car. You will see right now how much practicality the car it has. Look at this guys, it's completely flat, 100% flat floor there. So you can even sleep here or carry big items without any problem. Look at the space incredible good space and yeah i tell you practicality economy this is a very very good car that's why probably so many people these days want to buy it now if i go on the side let me open the door so this is the opening it's not 90 degrees but if you want to go inside here you will see that you have more than enough space uh, to go inside the car once you are here you can see how much space you have one more time from this angle I just want to show you this is the space here you can see it's it's quite flat floor totally flat floor here guys it's incredible I think I can even sleep here without any problem it's so so long even tall people can sleep here great job really really great job I like that now, another thing that I like is the fact that the seat belt will stay here automatically. You don't have to always pull it. I will show you a little bit later. And also I like the fact that you have plenty of storage space left on the legs room. So you can see the seats, they doesn't extend over the down part. You can see this is the down part, this is the upper part. They stay until here. They doesn't extend like that. So in this way, you will have a lot of space on the legs room there. And even the transmission tunnel is not that big and I like that. If you wonder what is this here, this is for uh, ventilation of the battery because the battery is somewhere under the seats here. This is the ventilation. So it allows the, the air to flow outside and the heat as well inside the cabin. So this is the space with the seats. This is the great part guys, when you want to put it back, you put it back just like that. So the seat belt will stay here. This is the great thing and also on the other side you can do the the same thing not many cars are able to do that and this is another small thing that i will really appreciate uh, if i will definitely buy this car anyway this was the space let me put everything back and let's go forward actually if you want to close it you close it very simple just like that press a button now before we go inside let's talk a little bit about the door here right here we have big windows one big here and one fix here and one that can be fold all the way down so from here you can fold it all the way down and i also want to show you how much you can fold it down i have to put the contact first let me put this contact right now and i want to show you how much you can fold down the window look at this completely this is incredible this is very useful that's something to keep in mind and i think for many people will be very useful this information now on the upper part in terms of quality material you will see that on the upper part even here on the back doors we have soft material everywhere here it's soft and nice we have the stitches here we have also leather here stitches so everywhere it's soft and nice and it feels really really great down here we have some plastic we have a speaker we have some storage space uh, we have the button for the windows and also the handle that feel relatively good quality so overall on the doors we have great great quality going inside here relatively big entrance you can see also the space right here you can see the seats and also from this angle also the seats we have here combination between stuff material in the middle on this trend uh, version and leather on the side the headrest uh, also we have ease of fix for a child you can install two child seats here in the middle we have two cup holders and also some leather for armrest and overall i like the fact that in the middle they kind of let it flat so even free people can stay here so overall the quality of the seats it's, it's really good. Now behind the front seats, we have some leather storage space uh, right here. Also everything is soft and nice. Let me go inside, let me show you the rest. Down here we have two vents and also they feel yeah, not the best quality, but they feel fine, they are okay. Uh, we don't have any USB, I noticed that. Something that I wish to have here in the back. Other than that, uh, let me close the door. Once you close the door, you will notice that the sound insulation is quite good. 
space here visibility it's incredible good i love the visibility you have huge windows here also you have another window in the back there so visibility is just perfect nothing to complain about visibility then the position here it's quite good i have like four or five fingers over my head i'm 173 centimeters by the way and i feel fine here also i have a handle i have a hook here yeah it feels good on my legs this is the space plenty of space on my on my knees and also i can stretch my legs under the front seat without any problem there and the seats are kind of adjusted this is in my driving position and this is a little bit backward but overall kind of the same so my space here it's lovely if you want to go in the middle you can go without any problem transmission tunnel it's small you can stay also with your legs together and the great part is that you can even stay with your uh, fit together and this is great i mean that allow you to have much more space here plenty of space on my knees and also over my head i have like four fingers yeah kind of a little bit less space here stretch my hand completely stretch my hand completely that mean free person here for short to medium trips will stay without any problem because down here it's quite stiffer on on my back on my uh, on the down part is stiffer and also on my back uh, it's a little bit stiffer than on the side so but i think for medium trips you will be fine here the quality on the roof it's relatively fine i should say seven from ten also here we have two normal bulb lights so yellow light no led other than that this is the back of the car going in the front and there you can see the dashboard pretty simple clean nothing crazy kind of Toyota usually design. I like it that it's simple and useful because you have physical button almost everywhere and you can use them very very easy and simple and yeah let's go in the front let's go there to talk about the things. All right guys now let's go in the front here on the front doors the quality it's almost the same I mean we have great quality on the upper side here we have leather you can see the white stitches you can see the leather here white stitches very good quality also the handles here we have different some glossy plastic insertion here and some chrome insertion on the handle there other than that the button for the windows button for the mirrors here you can adjust the mirror electrically you can fold it unfold it lock the car unlock the car and also lock the windows if you want to the storage space in the door bands are not that big i wish to be a little bit bigger but yeah they are fine here we have a big speaker and this is the entrance in the car also in the front we have a big entrance no problem you can see also from this angle a little bit better the seats in the front and also you can see the interior those seats come with manual adjustment the thing the only thing that you can adjust it electrically is the lumbar part from here you can adjust this middle part but other than that everything is manual here then we have the pedals we have normal pedals no aluminum pedals so that's something to keep in mind and other than that from here you open the hood and let me show you a little bit closer the seats those are the seats a great combination between leather and fabric material and the fabric material feel really really nice i like it i like this type of fabric material it feels really really good quality leather on the side side support leather here really bright really big they are they are super super nice the seats i like them they are perfect i mean for the entry level version for this price they are very good seats now here we have some buttons one is to open the trunk one is for traction control this button right here it's for defrosting the windshield so the car come with windshield defrostable this is great feature heated steering wheel parking assist and also automatic high bin and low bin and here we have some plastic keep in mind in this area it's plastic but from here up begin soft material so all, everywhere on the dash up here it's soft and nice material it's feel really good and also here we have the vents very good vents very good quality as you touch it i like them i mean they are they are really cool now let's go inside and i want to show you something you see these little vents here guys this is also very very useful and also those vents up here they are very useful because when you are in the winter time when the windows are uh 
foggy, you know, you just press a button and then you defrost it really fast. And this is something that I like. And once I'm here inside the car, you will notice the visibility around the windows. It's gorgeous because you have these big windows here. You have a perfect, perfect visibility and I like it. And also in the mirror, great visibility around the windows. It's lovely. Look at this. And also this window, it's a little bit extended so you can see even better outside. So yeah, lovely visibility around the windows. So it's just perfect. You can see one more time the seats in the back there. And here in the middle, we have an armrest, leather armrest. You can also extend it, close it, and you can open it up. And here you have some storage space where you can put different things. And not only the storage space, but if you look closely, you will see you have a 12 volt port and a USB port also, again, very useful as well. Other than that, some glossy plastic here in the middle, uh, some plastic also on the side here. In the middle here, we have some leather with the white stitches in the middle. Somehow uh, they kind of designed it there. Two cup holders, electronic handbrake, auto hold. This is also very useful. And then we have this stalk. I'm not such a big fan of these kind of big stalks, maybe on, a, on a sporty cars, but on normal cars i wish to have some kind of small yeah kind of shift by wire transmission or stuff like that and use this space for other things but i guess it's okay this is it guys also you have a sporty mode you can go also in sporty mode and you can also change the gears from those pedals that are here behind the steering wheel so you can have some fun with the car if you want to in sport mode now actually let me start the car press the brake this is the starting engine button and right now the car it's on you can see now the graphic there and from here you change different driving mode if you look closely you have ev mode and drive mode ev mode will send the car in electric mode full electric mode but it's not able in this moment and from here from drive mode you can change different driving modes you have free driving modes eco normal and sport mode and you can see it's changing uh, the color in sport mode when you are in sport it will make red on this uh, digital display. A little bit forward, if you look closely, you will see that I have my phone there and it comes with a wireless charging here. You have to press this button in order to uh, turn it on and off. But it's great that in this price, it comes with uh, wireless charging. This is really, really good. Here we have heated seats for you and the passenger. This is also another extra feature that the car come with and it's always welcome i should say like that and if we look closely i want to show you that here you have a usb port i don't know if you can see it so well but i zoom in a little bit so you can see it so another useful thing good the glow box relatively big i should say you don't have any light there but it's it's a big glow box and this is useful up here on the dash you have also soft material soft material soft material up there really good quality on the dashboard some glossy plastic some chrome design insertion the quality overall uh, feel great in the car i have to say i don't have any complaint about the quality of the car also you can adjust the steering wheel up forward backward up down the way you want it behind here you have a manual uh, adjustment also the steering wheel very good quality we have leather great great grip on the steering wheel and also nice size here we have the button to control different functions on the media also the volume the voice command and the telephone here we have the controllers for the lane assist the emergency brake and adaptive cruise control and cruise control you have it here and also different uh, modes in the media now going forward the cockpit i'm really excited to see the new cockpit from the new toyota corolla i think will be everywhere on the screen a digital cockpit and i'm super excited so if you want to see it uh, check out next month guys uh, the video will come out on my on my channel but this one it's quite relatively simple you can see there some information in the middle for example here you can see information about ev driving mode you can see here the consumption in the middle uh, and also all kind of information you can go here and you can change here the lane assist and the cruise control you can turn it on and off then you have the radio you have here uh, an energy nice um, kind of energy flow um, design and you can see how much 
what happened with the battery and with the energy it goes back in the battery or not here you can see distance and information about the car and here you have all the settings of the car that you can turn it on and off like all that safety features even the head-up display you can turn it off and on and other than that here you can see if you have some errors if the car have errors or stuff like that but anyway talking about head-up display now it's super sunny outside but i think you still be able to see it right there i think you can see it it's in the front there right here uh, and it's it's gorgeous i mean it's great that it's directly on the windshield and doesn't bother you with some kind of plastic there and it's it's really really nice you can turn it on and off really simple and fast and it's perfectly positioned there so you will have a great great view on it so i like it good going forward here in the middle you have the climatic system with physical button as i said before toyota tried to keep it kind of classic and for most of the people physical button are still the 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 best way to go because physical button are easy easy to reach easy to change different function and if you want to turn it on and off you can do it from here the climatic system you don't have to touch screen go in the touch screen and search for some kind of a futuristic area where you turn on the climatic system it's much better put some physical button everything will be so easy and simple you just press them change different things really fast and easy from here so i like that i like the classic way and also this is an automatic climatic system so this is also good and you have dual climatic system even better now the vents are fine they look also nice simple to use lovely and we go to the multimedia system here i should say i can wait to see the new multimedia system uh, toyota will come on the new corolla with a new multimedia system with a bigger screen it's just like that i think it's around 10 to 12 inch and it's it's much much better than this one this one it's kind of simple you know let me go first of all here on the side you have some shortcut buttons so for example you have the home button that gets you to home you have the menu button it gets you to menu audio button get you to audio everything is simple map it gets you to to the map but it's not installed in this uh, on this car and then you have the setup that gets you to the setup of the car or phone and you change the tracks there so first of all go to home this is home it's incredible simple i tell you this multimedia is nothing crazy i already have a video on it uh, on my channel so if you go here for example on the home page this is the home page this is the audio if you go to audio then you have here kind of an energy flow and information about uh, driving so you can see right here the history you can see how much energy the car was consuming you can see how much battery you have in this moment and all kind of information about the car then if you go to the menu here you have the audio telephone information about the car that you see it before and you have the settings those are the settings where you change the language for example you can change it from here let's change it and also you can change the, the clock uh, you can customize the home screen you can change different things right here very simple uh, by the way, you can also connect your Android and Apple uh, Apple phone, but you have to use a cable, of course. Then this is the general settings, the Bluetooth settings. You can turn it on and off. Then you have the audio settings, the phone settings, the voice command there, the vehicle settings. Those are the most important where you find the door, the climatic settings, the light settings right here but it's so simple i mean it's nothing crazy nothing complicated it's incredible simple and it's it's not as you find it in the other and a volkswagen for example but you see and the last one it's wi-fi because you can connect it to the internet but other than that everything feels simple and yeah it's nothing complicated here anyway the only thing that's missing on the car that usually the car should come with is the navigation system that it's also fine it's not the best one on the market but it's relatively good now if you go in reverse i want to show you that the car come also with a reverse camera this is the reverse camera of the car it's not the best resolution but it's very useful and the fact that it's connected with a six parking sensors in the front and on the rear it make it really really useful here we have a big mirror in terms of practicality visibility it's perfect i mean you have big mirror here you have up here also some lights no led but normal lights and also here you have a normal bulb light and a mirror 
quite useful, practical, and also practical is this handle. Let me close it because I think I show you almost everything. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about the car before I end this video. So my rating for this Toyota Corolla from one to 10 will be 9.8 taking the consideration price and what it offers. I think it's a great, great rating. And I wanna tell you something, guys. The car, it's incredible good. And why I say that? Because, of course, if we take into consideration the fact that we don't see LED lights up here, we don't have an amazing multimedia system, will come soon in the next version, by the way. We don't have an amazing cockpit, and there are a few things, very small things here and there that I wish to be different. But other than that, if you think about price, if you think about what this car generally offers, I mean the practicality you see behind there, you can fold down the seats completely flat, it's incredible practical, visibility is great, the consumption is very good and the engine and this hybrid, full hybrid system is so reliable, it's just unrefusable. You can you can refuse this car. I mean, it's so good. It's so good. No wonder why so many people want to buy it. Anyway, other than that, very comfortable and very good quality on the seats. And I think this is a reasonable rating for the car. I definitely and I totally think that the new Corolla facelift that will come next year will have probably a better rating because it comes with a new multimedia and new cockpit. I'm really excited to see that car. So I guess that was my video guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car, if you want to test drive it, check out Emil Frey in Sukville. I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy it and see the car. So check them out. Also, thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate that. Today, I didn't feel so good i'm not in a big shape so probably the video was not that good i'm really not happy with how the video was uh, coming out but i still do it and i hope it's you find some useful uh, information in the video anyway thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video uh, i wish you all the best don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe and don't forget to check out the test drive i will have a separate video with the same car test drive on my channel soon if it's not already there click the subscribe to see the notification when that video will come out thank you very much for watching also soon will come the new facelift corolla facelift 2023 or 2024 and yeah, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.